the Bible for every moment of life. The CIO promised to bring in a new portfolio manager to head the project portfolio team, which is led by my boss. My boss mentioned this in an awry manner, and I in my usual inimical way responded that it wasn't a surprise really, as I thought the CIO would like someone from his zone in the department, as it was currently full of one nationality. The reason I think I was also brought in. Anyhow, I really can't express, usually I am full of words, the mixed feelings with which my boss asked me the reason for my comments. I am not sure keeping mute further helped to the situation. So why did I think so? Apart from the reason given afore, well my boss spends a lot of time in the CIO's office with little output. Both planned or impromptu, and numerous phone calls also, he was always urging me to go to the CIO and present grand ideas how to improve things, but check with him first, so I did both. This told me the CIO wanted something he wasn't getting and his promise confirmed my hunch. <laughs> the fact that my boss didn't know this was even more frightening as I freelanced and was dependent upon my boss's goodwill for survival in the department. Living the word is how I knew there is a passage of scripture where one of the leaders called Paul frequently Act 24, 26, with the hope of a bribe before releasing him. You see, he called him frequently because he wanted something and wasn't getting it. You still think the Bible is a little book and that it doesn't apply to every day all our lives. Think again.